Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Sky Channel. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about the recommendations for the talents for EP. But before I get started I want to give a big thank you to Aptoid for sponsoring this video. They provide amazing bonuses on in-game purchases in the Ants Underground Kingdom. You can get back between 10 and 35% on each of your purchases which you can then use to purchase additional packs. If you're interested Please check out the video that I've shared in the description below to see how you can avail that bonus as well. Okay, so I will be talking about the recommendations for level 59, 69, and 79 primarily. Now level 59 you get 85 talents, at level 69 you get 101 talents, and at level 79 you get 115 talents. It's also important to note that the recommendations may change based on the ants that you're using. This is just one way to assign them. And also note that it's fairly easy for you to switch out the talents if you didn't like them. It costs 10 resetting talent seaweeds, which you can buy for 30,000 diamonds each week. Okay, let's jump right into it. So first thing I always say is combat speed is very important and that's going to be the first thing we'll get. So we will take the route which includes the attack march speed control resistance chance normal attack damage which is helpful an extra attack and then combat speed so this cost us 26 talents already then we're gonna spend two more to get eight percent health because well pvp and health are very interrelated so we use 28 already now as you can see, there is this skill attack that's right here, and that's 15% skill attack. Now, what I want us to do is I want us to either choose between this route, so the skill attack route, or the normal attack route. Both of them cost eight in total, so two for defense and then six for the skill attack, or two for defense and six for the normal attack damage. And what this does is that it gives you an extra 12% normal attack damage, but reduces your skill damage by 6%. So if you are heavily focused on normal attack, meaning that you're using DB, a Weaver Ant, or Nimble Tree Ant, and Wise Berserker, you may want to go with Strong Limbs, which is the normal attack boost at the cost of skill damage. But if you are focused on skill attack or skill damage, then just spend the 8 talents here. So now that is done, I'm going to assume all of us are either going to choose this path or that path, which means that for level 59, we have 49 talents left. At level 69, we have 65 talents left. And if you are a level 79, you have 79 talents left. A lot still to cover. Okay, so next what we will do is we will try to get this 20% extra damage to enemy squads with less than 50% power, which means that you'll be doing a ton more damage to enemies that are already hurt. So we take the route that we have to. We first get the attack. We get the normal attack damage, which is amazing. We get some defense. We get skill damage as well. 9%. Very nice. We get 30% attack. So the path is actually pretty beautiful. And then we get an extra defense, which is okay. And then we get this and we max it out to level eight. This process cost us 38 talents. And if you're level 59, you only have 11 left. So given that it's just 11, what I would recommend is that if you went the normal attack damage route, use eight of them to get the skill attack as well might as well at this point because you just have so much left to play with so get that skill attack it will help you in groundhog which is of course you want to deal a lot of damage to groundhog well skill attack helps there as well and if you get that then you have three left and then you can just get this attack which will give you nine percent extra attack now if you went the skill attack route anyway you can either get the normal attack damage route and then use the rest of the three here or you can just go all out on this attack and then once you get this maxed out you can go here and get some extra attack as well so for level 59 these are what your options would look like 
Okay, for people who are beyond level 59, let's say level 69, let's make our path towards this. When any of our squads defeats an enemy squad, increase the damage by 2% until the end of battle. And of course, that's 2% at level 1. If you go to level 8, that is 16% extra damage until the end of the battle. So we'll take the path that is set for us. We'll get a bunch of extra attack. We'll get some more attack here. And then we're going to get this march speed. And then we're going to get distracted by this amazing health that's right around the corner. And we'll get it. 10% health for two talents. Definitely worth it. Okay, then we'll go back here. We'll get some extra health. 12% health at the cost of six talents. Yikes, more expensive, but it's okay. And then if you are level... 69 you only have three levels left to assign here so you'll get six percent extra damage until the end of the battle every time you defeat an enemy squad so for level 69 this is what your talents will look like but if you were level 79 well you're gonna get all of this up to level 8 and of course you are also getting that 10% health, but we covered it already. So what are we going to do with the nine talents that we have left? Well, I would recommend just go ahead and get this. Damage dealt by all our squads plus 12% and their damage taken plus 6%. Now, it's a decent bargain. You're getting 12% for 6%. And of course, this will help you a lot, I believe in your Groundhog and Pangolin as well. And of course it should help you in PvP as well, though it's probably not the best talent out there. The remaining three, you can apply it here. So that's gonna give you, every time you get into a duel with the opponent, which I'm assuming means that every time you get into a battle, every round, like once a round, the damage taken by your squad will get decreased by four and a half percent because it's gonna be level three. And the damage taken to the enemy squad is gonna increase by four and a half percent which isn't bad at all. The other option how to use the 9 would be potentially getting this normal attack damage if you got the skill attack before, or just getting the skill attack, which will help you in your Groundhog as well. Though personally, if you're a big fan of Groundhog, I'm assuming this damage dealt might give a bigger impact. However, you are free to check it out and test it out and see which one gives you a larger impact. Okay, so at level 79, this is what your talents should look like. Okay, so this covers our video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos. Please also feel free to leave some other recommendations in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.